Hello, welcome to Home Sweet Gardens. I've had a lot of people ask me about maintenance of a garden. I've had people say, why do you go down every single day? Do you have to do it every day? Can you go every other day? Um, and the answer is pretty simple. In the beginning, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot that has to be done. It kind of runs itself. And in some respects, it does. However, um, there is daily maintenance that you need to do. You need to check and make sure that your plants are healthy. You make sure and see if they need water, um, check for pests, make sure that there isn't any kind of infestation or fungus growing. Um, obviously when it starts producing a lot you have to pick harvest uh, at least once a night. I normally do it in the evening because I get home. I go to work way too early and so I usually do most of my harvesting in the evening. Um, but it is a daily process. Uh, can you go a day without? Yes. but. Um, if you go too long, your your garden's going to suffer and you'll tell. Uh, if I have to be gone more than a couple of days or so, then I typically um, have a neighbor or somebody come over and that they'll check and water if I need it or pick stuff if I need it picked. Um, weeds are a big one. So, for example, I was out here yesterday because, of course, I come every single day, and I pick the weeds here and there. Um, I try to do it at least... A little bit every time I'm out here but for example this right here is a weed okay it gets huge I don't know exactly what kind they are I've actually asked around and I've searched and I can't no one's able to tell me what it is so if you know I would be very interested in being able to find out what it is but they seem to grow almost overnight here's one right here as well and if I don't pick these out every single day or every other day or whatever, they will literally take over the whole garden bed. Um, the root system is really deep and it runs sideways all through and it's gotten all through the whole bed. Um, and like I said, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but if I don't keep control over it, then it just comes back and it, like I said, it's just an infestation. Um, I also have the thistle that's growing in here. Um, you know, I try not to use pesticides or sprays or anything as much as possible. Um, you know, Roundup kills pretty much everything. So I just try to control it by picking it by hand. And um, do I get it all? No. And I'll probably always have to combat it. But that's just part of gardening and, and your maintenance is, is keeping a handle on it every day. Now this bed is my... Uh, dragon tongue green beans and I spent about 15 minutes last night and I weeded it and it's doing a lot better. It, weeds tend to crowd out and they'll actually take the moisture out of the soil and your plants will actually do better and it's funny because last night they were kind of laying over a little bit um, they were looking a little puny. I've since weeded through and gotten a lot of the grass and the grass was super tall in here. You can see some of it still here. I missed a couple pieces here and there. Um, but you get all that stuff out of there and all of a sudden your plants are just so much healthier. They're much happier. So again, daily maintenance, making sure you're picking up your harvest, making sure you are keeping the weeds down, checking for pests, especially those stinking squash bugs are horrible. Um, keeping them off of it, making sure those soil is watered. I've mentioned the fact that I use a soil tester, a moisture tester. Um, I'll show you what I use. I got it on Amazon. It didn't cost a whole lot. I think it was like nine, ten bucks, something like that. But this is it right here. And as you can see, it has light moisture and pH and so basically because this soil the, the soil that I have in here it looks like it's really dry and if you look at it, it looks really dry you think oh my gosh it's so dry but when you just stick this in there it's gonna show wet so I know that I don't need to water this bed a lot of people will say that um, above ground beds don't hold their moisture you have to water them more. I find that to be untrue. I, it seems like I don't have to water near as much as I did when it was an in ground and I can localized water so I can just put it down and water just the spots I need it 
and it seems to really do well. So just a couple things in mind. Again, weeding, pest control, uh, looking for fungus, make sure your plants are healthy, moisture, whether it needs to be watered or if it's getting too wet, is there something that you can do to help combat that? Make sure, especially when it gets hot, is it getting too much sun? Um, you know, sometimes there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Um, but, and then again, harvest, 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 especially those zucchini and squash. If you don't get them every single day, it seems like they turn into like giant monsters. So um, until next time, happy gardening.